Hello, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Children's Church here at Bronxwood International Church of God. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. We are so excited that you've connected with us today. I'm your host, Brother Michael, and my co-host. Do I have a co-host today? I don't know. Hello, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Look who it is. I came on my episode. <laughs> you know who this is? This is Adam, Brother Adam, Hello, Deacon Adam. Everybody back. Back with us. Good to see you, Adam. I'm back and better than ever. That's right. That's right. Back from North Carolina. He's co-hosting with us today, okay? So call a friend and tell him to log, log on because Children's Church is about to begin. Let's start Let's with some praise and worship. That's right. Let's start with some praise and worship. of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to be glory, 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 now and Of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, go in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Second Peter 3.18 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 
What did you think? I wasn't see, that great I think for his worship? Amazing. I think it was amazing. Yeah. I, I liked it. I love to worship and sing it, it and, and praise God. That's right. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. Are you excited to tell us about our new series, right, for the this month of amazing. August? It's going to be amazing. What are we going to be talking I, I'm, about? I'm so excited because I've, I've heard this Bible verse so many times. And it's just beautiful to learn about. Yeah? So today we're going to be learning about a time it, the commander of the Syrian army in Syria was healed by God himself. And, our, and, and not just today, our whole series is going to be about healings from the Bible, okay? Different different miraculous things that, that God did, right? And in this particular story, the Bible tells us about a Syrian commander whose name was Naaman, Ooh. okay? He was very successful at his job. He was a great commander of the Syrian army, okay? The king of Syria and all the people loved him because of all the great things he was doing for the country and all the battles he won, right? Ooh. He must be a big warrior. That's right, right? And everything was great. Everything on the outside was looking and going well. But secretly, Naaman was fighting a battle. The only battle that he could not win on his own. What was that battle? I wonder. I'll tell you, right? Naaman had a very deadly sickness. Ooh. That battle Wait, was, was on that the leprosy? inside. You know your Bible, right? It was leprosy, okay? Ooh. Leprosy was can, a disease. I can explain it though. You want to tell us yeah, about sure. it? What's name it? What's, leprosy, what's, what's leprosy is a large and bad disease that can fully eat through your body and you'll just be skinless pretty much. And you Deformed. can lose your you can lose your limbs, you right? Lose your limbs. A lot of people who had leprosy, they were treated badly and they were say told to go away. You can't be around us. It was not a good disease to have, right? The but whole what, town of, that had full of leprosy. That's right. They were right. Sometimes they had to live in their own colonies, leper yeah. colonies. That's how bad it was, right? But one day, Naaman heard about a prophet of God who God was using to perform many miracles. Could this prophet heal him of his sickness? Who knows? Maybe he could. Maybe. Let's right? take a closer look at the video. See what happens. That's right. In the land of Syria, there lived a mighty man of valor by the name of Naaman. He was a strong warrior that commanded the Syrian army. Naaman fought many battles and was a courageous man, but one thing made him vulnerable. He was a leper. Leprosy was a terrible and painful skin disease. The disease began slowly, but it would eventually turn him into a disfigured, ugly, and infected man. In those days, lepers were outcasts and lived in their own colonies. No person wanted to come in contact with a leper. In Naaman's house, there lived a little girl from Israel. The Syrians had taken her from Israel to be a household slave. One day she spoke with Naaman's wife and told her of a prophet who lived in Israel that could heal Naaman's leprosy. When Naaman heard this, he immediately set out to get permission from the king of Syria to embark on a long journey to the land of Israel. He wanted to find that prophet and ask for healing. In the meantime, the king of Syria wrote a letter in which he asked the king of Israel for permission to heal Naaman. When the king of Israel read the letter, he was confused and suspected foul play. When the prophet Elisha heard of the news, he corrected the king and asked that Naaman be sent to him. And so it happened. When Naaman arrived at Elisha's house, a servant came out to meet him. Naaman was angry, since he thought Elisha would welcome him in person. The servant then spoke to Naaman. Here is what Elisha says. Go to the Jordan River and wash off seven times. Your leprosy will be healed. Naaman wasn't so sure about this trick. Besides, how could the Jordan River help him? Why come all the way to Israel when there are rivers in Syria? Naaman's servants rushed to his side and begged him to obey the word of the prophet. Naaman swallowed his pride and went to the Jordan River to do exactly as Elisha commanded. There in the Jordan River he washed seven times and after the seventh time a miraculous wonder took place. It happened exactly as Elisha foretold. God's power came over Naaman and healed him. Because of his faith, he believed 
and because he believed, he was healed. Naaman went to thank Elisha and declared that there was indeed no other God than the God of Israel. Naaman wanted to give gifts to Elisha, but he refused. So Elisha's servant ran after Naaman, lied about being told to receive the gifts so he could get them. When Elisha saw this, he cursed the servant and his descendants with leprosy, and immediately the servant went away, covered with sores. That wow. was amazing. That was awesome. Yeah. I can't believe that. That, 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 that was so good. Mm -hmm. The prophet told Naaman to dip seven, seven times in the Jordan River because Naaman obeyed God and was cured of all of every single illness. That's right. He was cured. If this is just a beautiful reminder for us when we ask God to help us, all we gotta do is just believe in Him, pray, let Him do the rest. That's right. You can tell us our memory verse today. Okay. Thank you. Right. Today's memory verse is taken from Second Kings chapter five, verses thirteen to fourteen. Okay, and it reads: Naaman's servants went to him and said, "My father." If the prophet had told you to do some great thing, would you not have done it? How much more then when he tells you, wash and be cleansed? So he went down and dipped himself in the Jordan seven times, as the man of God had told him. And his flesh was restored and became clean like that of a young boy. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Before we go, we'll say a prayer together. You want to do it? Sure. All right. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for this day, and we thank you for our lesson today, Lord God. We praise you for all of the miraculous things you you do, that you've done, that you that you that you're doing now, and that you will do in the future. And we thank you for for the stories that we have and the testimonies of like like this, Father God, like the healing of Naaman, Lord God. We pray, Father God, that when when you give us instructions, that when you when you tell us things to do, Lord God, that will help us, Father God, that we won't. That, that we won't ask questions, Lord God, that we would believe and do the things that you that you call us to do. Sometimes it's hard to believe. Sometimes it's hard, Father God, but we pray that we would trust you, Lord God, and know that the thing you're telling us, even when it looks crazy, Lord God, may, be, may just be that thing to change our situations, Lord God. Give us the boldness and the strength, Father God, to, to do what you say, Lord God, because you know what's best for us and you have our best interests at heart, Lord God. I thank you for all the people that are watching, Lord, all the children and the families, Lord God. I pray that you bless them and keep them safe, Lord God. I pray that, that um, they would tell someone about you this week, Lord. Tell someone about this story, about the healing of Naaman, and tell someone about your love, Lord God. We thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Beautiful. Oh, all right, praise well, God. I'm going to go move some boxes in my new house. Oh, yeah? Wait, well, let's say bye first. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>